sometimes in a world that's full of fear, doubt, and unbelief, it's not always easy to find someone to encourage you. Even though what others have to say may be valuable, the most important voice may be your very own. We must learn the benefits of encouraging ourselves in the Lord. You are your best friend or you are your worst enemy. What you say about yourself is probably the most important conversation you're going to have all week. <laughs> you can convince yourself you are a winner or you can convince yourself you're a loser. King David and 600 of his soldiers returned home from the battlefield. And while they were gone, the Amalekites came in and burned all their houses and took their women and their children. When they arrived, all they found were those ruins. Their houses were burned to the ground. Their families are all gone. And the Bible says they cried and wept until there was no more strength to cry. Oh, what a disappointment this must have been. Discouraged is not a big enough word to describe the state of their morale. But for David, the pain must have been even worse. For he was their leader. And now, his men, these mighty soldiers who have fought beside him day in and day out, who have their share of battle scars, now are consumed by grief and what they've lost. Now there's even talk of stoning David. David was experiencing so much distress and it might have destroyed him completely except for this. David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Oh, it's easy to fall apart when calamity strikes. It's easy to fly off of the handle and give in to some wild emotion and feelings and say, I quit. But the truth is, every action demands a reaction. The devil is just hoping he can make you mad enough that you'll punch somebody. Oh, the devil loves it when you void the warranty. He loves it when you allow your emotions to convince you the problem is bigger than the promise. David, in the face of all this chaos, made a powerful choice. He decided to encourage himself in the Lord his God. David chose encouragement not discouragement. He chose to get over it and not get in it. David decided to get better and not bitter. There'll come a time when no one will be there to prop you up. But what worked for David will work for you. You see, I believe David had a revelation from God. And he knew this wasn't just about David. What you're facing right now, the fight, the crisis that's going on in your world now is not only about you, but it's all about the attack. You're believing in a God who has promised you victory. David knew as long as he was in the covenant, it's not about him, 
But this whole thing, this entire episode is God's business. David said, yes, this is awful. Yes, this is terrible. But before I go off on some mad rage, before I throw in the towel and please the devil by quitting, before I go talking about how bad things are, I think I'm just going to take a break and get over here and encourage myself in the Lord. I need to talk to me about God and what God says about me. Listen, you, you can't tell everybody your problems. You, you can't discuss your future with someone who's always talking negative. A choice is yours to either give up and quit and let the devil dance on your grave or you can move on to the solution that God has prepared for the problem. David knew his source of strength was God. And in a matter of a few days, David recovered everything that had been taken all as a result of encouraging himself in the Lord. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, help us understand the secret David discovered when he prayed, my help cometh from the Lord. Father, we take comfort in your word knowing that you are ever present regardless of what the devil is throwing and what's going on around us right now, we win. Not so much because of who we are, but because of whose we are. Today, Lord, I ask you to strengthen every person who is watching this program and give them strength to rise up and march on to victory. In Jesus' name, we call it done. Amen. This is your partner in agreement, Pastor Arthur Ward, reminding you God has big plans for you. <laughs>